Hi students, let us solve exercise 6a. Section number 1. Identify monomials, binomials and trinomials from the following expressions. In the lecture part, we have already seen that monomial is an expression consisting of one term. Binomial is an expression consisting of two terms. And a trinomial has three terms. So in all these following questions, we will just look how many terms each of the expression has. And that will give us the answer. So first term, 2m plus 3n. Here, 2m is the first term, 3n is the second term. And we know that terms can only be separated by a plus or minus sign. Both multiplication and division has no role in deciding how many terms. So here, 2m plus 3n. 2m is the first term, 3n is the second term. It has two terms, therefore, it is a binomial. Second question, a minus 5b plus c. A is first term, 5B is second term, 7C third term. So this has three terms and it is a trinomial. Third question, 2 by 7 A square. So this has only a single term, therefore it is a monomial. Now fourth question, 5M square minus 4. This is the first term and 4 is the second term. The fourth one is also a binomial. Question number 5, 7 A square plus 2B minus 4 AB. 7a square one term, 2b square second term, and 4ab third term. This is also a trinomial. Question number 6. 1 by 2 h cube minus y plus z. One term, two terms, three terms. So that is also a trinomial. So that is the end of section number 1, question 1. Session number 2, first question. Write the coefficient of h in the following. We have already seen that there are two types of coefficient. Coefficient is of two types. One is a numerical coefficient, a numerical coefficient. And second one is a literal coefficient, literal coefficient. So numerical coefficient is any numbers, literal coefficient is any alphabet. But here it is simply mentioned coefficient. It doesn't specify numerical or literal. So whatever comes with its that will be our coefficient in this question. So please don't confuse. Here it is not specified numerical or literal. So we have to generally write whatever the coefficient is. So question number one, two it's. Here there is only one coefficient that is a numerical coefficient two. The answer is two. Second question, m it's. Also there is one coefficient and here m is a literal coefficient but still as I told, only coefficient is asked. M is the answer. Third question, minus 2p h. Here the coefficients are minus 2p. And please don't exclude this minus sign. Minus is also included in the coefficient. And the answer would be minus 2p. Fourth one, 3h y square. The coefficients are 3 and y square. Answer is 3 y square. Fifth question, minus 1 by 3 h p. So again here minus is also included and other coefficient is p. Answer is minus 1 by 3 p. That is the end of section number 1 and section number 2. Section number 3. Write the coefficient of following expression. So in each of the following expression we need to find the coefficient again. And here also it is simply asked for coefficient. So we should include both numerical and literal coefficient. Section number 3. Question number 1 h in minus h h y square. So we can exclude h and whatever comes that is minus h and y square will be the answer. Answer is minus h y square. Second question q in q h square. So exclude q and what is remaining h square. h square is the coefficient. Third question a in 2 by 3 a. So excluding a the remaining is 2 by 3. Answer is 2 by 3. Fourth question, h square y in minus 4 by 9 a h square y. So we have to exclude this h square y. And the remaining part is minus 4 by 9 a. That will be the answer. Minus 4 by 9 a. Fifth one, h y in minus 4 h y z. So exclude h y and what is remaining? Minus 4 and z. Answer is minus 4 is it question number 6 is it in minus is it so minus is it i can write it as 
minus 1 into Z. So the coefficient is minus 1. Answer is minus 1. Section 4. Identify like terms in each of the following. We know that like terms are the terms which have same literal coefficient. We need to look which of these following terms have same literal coefficient. Question number 1. A square, B square, 2A square, C square. A square and 2A square. Both this expression have same literal coefficient. So our first answer is A square and 2A square. These are like terms. Question number 2. 3HY yz 5x 2 by 7 yz second term as yz the fourth term also as yz so yz and 2 by 7 yz are the like terms answer is yz and 2 by 7 yz third question 8 m square n comma m square p minus m square n and m square n square the first term as m square n and the third term also has m square n. So these two are the like terms. Answer is 8m square n and minus m square n. Now question number 4. C A B square comma A square B C B square A C. So in the first term there is B square and third term also has same thing. It is B square A C. The order is different b square and ac here ca fourth term c square ab so that is also not similar to previous terms fifth one abc it has no square terms and sixth term ac b square in ac b square also there is b square and ac so this three are the like terms answer is c a b square comma b square AC and AC B square. So these are the like terms. Let us move to section number 5. Identify polynomials from the given algebraic expression. We know that polynomials are expressions which are having multiple terms and it can be of the form A plus BH plus C H square plus etc. And one important condition for polynomials is that always the variable should be the numerator part. And in any expression, if the variable takes a denominator part, it is not a polynomial. So keep in mind this idea. Let us move to the question. Question number 1. 4 by 9 h square minus 4 by 9 h square plus 4. So there are variables and it is of the form h square. Here 4 by 9 h square and minus 4 by 9 h square are like terms. So first one is a polynomial. So section 5, we have identified the first polynomial that is question number 1. Second one, 2 by h plus 3 by h square minus 4 h square plus 3 h plus 2. This part is a polynomial but this expression we can see the variable takes a denominator. So this is not a polynomial. Third one, 3 a cube plus 4 a square b plus 8 b cube. Here this is of the expression a plus bh plus ch square. So this is also polynomial. So again right second fifth question third one is also polynomial. Now fourth expression h square minus 1 by h square plus 2. 1 by h square comes as the denominator so it is also not a polynomial. Section number 5 answers are expression 1 and 3. Section number 6. Uh, write down the degrees of the following polynomials. We know that what are degrees? Degrees are the greatest power of a variable in an expression. Question number 1. 4h square minus h raised to 4. Here there are two terms. And the power of the first term h square is 2. Second term it is 4. And the highest term is 4. So the degree of the first question is 4. Second one. 4p square plus 6p cube plus 8p raised to 8. Here there are three terms p square, p cube, p raised to 8. Here p square power is 2, p cube power is 3 and p raised to 8 power is 8. And the highest one is 8. The degree of second 
क्वेश्चन इज एट थर्ड वन एम स्क्वायर एन क्यूब प्लस एम एन स्क्वायर प्लस फोर फर्स्ट टर्म देर आर टू वेरिएबल्स आई कैन टेक दिस सम ऑफ पावर ऑफ टू वेरिएबल्स सो पावर ऑफ एम स्क्वायर इज टू एंड एन क्यूब इज थ्री टू प्लस थ्री इज फाइव सेकेंड टर्म एम एन स्क्वायर सो एम एस पावर वन एन स्क्वायर एस पावर टू एडिंग वन प्लस टू द पावर इज थ्री एंड थर्ड एक्सप्रेशन देर इज नो वेरिएबल Comparing five and three, five is highest, so the degree of third question is five. Question number four: p square q raised to four plus p q square plus one. p square power is two, q square power is four. So adding, we will get six. Second term, p power is one, q square. So adding one plus two, we will get three. Here six is highest, so degree of the expression is six. Question number five, four. So there is a single numerical term that is four. Four I can write it as four h raised to zero. As h raised to zero is one, there is no change in the term. So the degree of question number five is zero. Next are multiple choice questions. Section number seven. A binomial is an algebraic expression with, you know that bi means two, nomial means terms. So it is two terms. Don't confuse degree to degree means the power to which a variable is raised to. Question number eight: The coefficient of h in minus six by seven q square a square h. So excluding h, whatever is remaining, that will be the coefficient. Here also, it is simply asked coefficient. It is not mentioned numerical or literal coefficient. So whatever excluding h will be the answer. After excluding h, we'll get minus six by seven q square a square. So option number D is the right answer. Question number nine. Which of the following is not a polynomial? We know that condition for polynomial is that if the variable comes as the denominator, that will not be a polynomial. So let us look for the expression in which variable is a denominator. Option number A. Eight x cube plus seven x square minus twelve x plus four. Here, this is a polynomial. Option number B. Eighty one x square plus four ab minus nine b square minus six. This is also a polynomial. Option C. A cube minus one by a cube plus three a square minus three by x cube plus eight. Here, two variables comes as the denominator. This is not a polynomial. So here, this will be the answer. Let us check option number D also. X cube plus y cube plus z cube minus three x y z. This is also a polynomial. Question number ten. Which of the following is a pair of like terms? Like terms means they should have same literal coefficient. Option A. Three x y comma three y. Here the numerical coefficients are same, but the literal coefficients are not same. Option B. Seven a b square comma minus seven a square b. Here both numerical and literal coefficient are different. These are not like terms. Option C minus sixteen p q raised to three comma twenty four q raised to three p. Both expression have the same literal coefficient. That is p and q raised to the power of three. This option number C is our answer. Let us check for option number D also. Minus eighteen x comma eighteen y. Here they have the same numerical coefficient but different literal coefficient. Now comes the last part of the exercise. Question number eleven. The degree of the polynomial ten is. So ten can also be written as ten x raised to zero. Power of x is nothing but zero. Option number B zero is the answer. Question number twelve. It is the match the following: three a square plus eight minus four ab. So options are degree one polynomial, like terms, unlike terms, trinomial. So question number one has three terms in it, so it will be a trinomial. Let us match question number one to trinomial. Second one: seven x y square is it, comma seven y. X is a square. They have the same numerical coefficient seven, but the literal coefficients are different. These two 
are a pair of unlike terms that is option number d third question minus 25 it's plus 3 there are two terms and the degree of this term is 1 as it has the power 1 here so this is an algebraic expression of the degree 1 fourth question 22 hz y z comma minus 16 y h z here the literal coefficient of both the terms are same so this are example for like terms last question 1 by 10 h square plus y square plus 13 by 100 xy plus 8 here the numbers are coming as a denominator but when we look all the variables they are still coming as a numerator an expression of having multiple terms so we can classify them as a polynomial so option number 5 is a polynomial now coming to the last question if four vertical lines plus three horizontal lines plus a square represent 4x square plus 3y square plus z then write the algebraic expression for four horizontal lines plus three squares plus one vertical line let us solve this four vertical lines represent h square so this is representing h square and three horizontal lines represent 3y square so a single horizontal line represent y square and this square represent a z term keeping that in mind let us look for this expression four horizontal line one horizontal line represent y square therefore we can write 4 y square plus we know one square represent z and there are three such squares so it is 3 z and finally there is one vertical line which represent h square answer is h square so this will be our algebraic expression